Hey, this is Terry, and I'm just sharing some things that I'm uh, learning in my new RV life. I've only been doing it a few months, but uh, I'm trying to pay attention to things that uh, come up that I can uh, get solved and, and can be very helpful. And I'm sharing some of those things that I've found uh, with anybody who uh, cares to, uh, to listen. One of the things that I've found is that uh, I'm living currently in Oregon, and so there's a lot of moisture in the wintertime in Oregon. And... What happens in the uh, travel trailer, I've got a 21 foot travel trailer, is that uh, the moisture builds up on the inside of these windows. So in the morning when I get up, they're, they're just uh, glazed over with moisture. And, um, and you know, moisture inside the trailer is not a good thing, no matter how it comes. And uh, so trying to get that off periodically became an issue. You know, by the end of the day, it'll finally dry, dry up if you don't do anything. but. But, uh, you know, that takes, that takes a long time with the heater going and stuff. So, so I would do some other things trying to get the moisture off the windows and so that I could see out the window and, or have the, uh, the uh, beauty come in. So first thing I used was paper towels, and paper towels work pretty well. There's no big deal uh, there. Paper towels are inexpensive and all that stuff, but you use an awful lot of them to get that job done. So I probably used uh, four five sheets for each window. They get all wet and then pretty much you can't use them. Even if you try squeezing them out, that just doesn't really work with paper towels. So then I thought about, uh, well, a chamois might work. You know, I've used chamois on cars and stuff. So I went to the store and I found the uh, these uh, cloth uh, or some kind of cloth-like substance uh, that's like a chamois. And uh, this this works better. Uh, it's re it's really good, and and it, it saves on uh, on waste. That's for sure. Because I all I have to do is squeeze out the water, and then I can use, use it again and again. So I can do all of the windows with this. And probably take to do all the windows in the trailer. Probably take about fifteen or twenty minutes using this, or or the paper towels, either one. So. You know, it's just kind of a project, uh, trying to get all that water off there and the glass is cold and all that stuff. So I, I didn't like either of those solutions too much. I was at the store and I saw this. This is just a wonderful little product. It's just a little squeegee, uh, Liebman. Uh, I, was buying a, I was buying a new mop, I think it was, and I happened to see this hanging on the, you know, where all the cleaning things were. And you can see from my hand, it's, it's really small. Uh, I think it, the blade is probably eight inches, but you know, it, it, uh, it does very, very well on the windows and just a few strokes and you're done. So this morning I cleaned off the water from all of the windows in the trailer in about two minutes. I mean, if that, it was just amazingly fast. And, um, uh, so clean too. So I, I maybe mopped up some water at the bottom with a paper towel or something. But but uh, this just got the water right off the glass. And then then the uh, the normal heat inside the trailer, uh, uh, you know, kind of takes over and, and keeps them keeps them clean. I I have a tendency to shut the heater off at night, so I'd rather sleep when it's cooler. Uh, so anyway. Uh, this is just a great product for uh, helping to keep your windows clean in your RV. And this thing cost me $3.46. I think it was on sale, but uh, even if even at regular price, 7 bucks or whatever it might be, uh, it's a stupid bargain. So anyway, keeping, keeping the uh, moisture off of the inside of the windows in your trailer or your RV, uh, these are some of the solutions that I've tried. And of course, this uh, this one uh, with uh, squeegee is the best. Hope you're having a great day.